Hi, Pete Moore, Gunmark TV. It's my colleague, Mark Mauricio. What a nice bloke. <laughs> Double that up there, didn't we? Okay, it's end of the year, and as usual, we're telling you the guns that impressed us most. You may not like them, you may like them, but we really rated them as you know people who know the field of firearms and air guns. So what do you reckon, Mark? Yeah, I think we've, it's been another good year. I mean, it always amazes me how many new products are coming out and a good steady flow, and we've had great fun in um, reviewing them. Obviously, we're showing here, just it's our personal opinions, obviously, and we know that not everyone will agree, but yeah, we've, we've, uh, we're just highlighting what we like. Okay, guys, have a happy Christmas. And, and also, of course, a happy new year. And we'll check you out in 2023. God help us. Have a good one. See you then. First up, the Browning Morale, one of my favourite guns. It's not a new gun, but they're around. It's a straight pull action with a box magazine, fixed barrel, different system for mounting scopes, QD, and you can take the butt off the rifle for storage. It comes in a really nice airline type of case, really good gun, different calibres, synthetic stocks, left hand version. If you're looking for a straight pull that's not going to break the bank at 2K, then it's well worth a look. Bag clips in. Give it a hit, the cocker is down, all I do, that's chambered, push up, and we shoot. The Gar have a rep for centerfire rifles, they also make rim fires. One that I really like is a very basic rifle called the BMR Carbon. Carbon is a, is a rack barrel, BMR stands for Bagara Micro Rifle. It's nothing special, comes with a 5 shot magazine, 10 shot magazine in 22LR, 22 Magnum, or 17 HMR, and it's just a sweet little bolt gun that really works. And around about 600 quid, depending, it's well worth the effort. Mag goes in nicely and locks. Ball throw is nice, safety's under the hand very easily. So, stand by. The new Marlin 1895. Marlin makes some real cracking lever action guns, traditional style tube magazines under the barrel. Ruger now and Marlin, and they're producing the what they call the Ruger Marlin 1895. It's a short barrel, 4517, big bore blaster, stainless action, looks good, and barrel with a, a grey laminate stock. It's just a really nice rifle, and you can mount scopes on it because it's side ejector. Overall, if you look at that sort of gun, it's well worth it. Last one. Crack it on. Cock. Safety off. Beretta's first segue into the straight pull switch bar calibre is the BRX1. Excellent rifle. Switch barrel, switch calibre, nothing particularly radical there. But what it does offer is the ability for the shooter to change from left hand operation to right hand operation or vice versa in 30 seconds without any real tools. Around right about 1500 quid, great price. Calibre is a bit limited at the moment, but I think 2023 is going to see a big improvement on the BRX. Truly modern classic, the Steyr Scout Rifle. Weird little gun, 19 inch barrel, complete with integral bipod, different capacity detection box magazines, fold down iron sights. It was a brainchild of Jeff Cooper 
And if you want a short, compact gun in a number of useful calibers, like 223, 243, 308, 708, then the Scout's it. It's one of those Marmite guns, you either like it or you don't, but believe you me, as an ex-owner, it's a crack little rifle for many needs. their 600 they've pretty much taken their old style Mauser rifles and ripped up the rule book and started again it's an unusual rifle it came with a switch barrel ability which was changed at a later date due to some issues they had so it's no longer a switch barrel gun which is really bloody annoying because it's a super little rifle it's got a um, sour 202 types plunger safety in the trigger guard and synthetic stock there's six options and give it a try before you condemn it too many people do Ruger's more budget oriented American series have come up with some nice rifles in both rimfire and centerfire. I really like their ranch rifle in 223. Compact synthetic stock, takes AR-15 magazines, and generally it's one of those little handy rifles, like a scout rifle, and it just shoots nicely, easy on, moderate it, and it comes in a number of caliber options if you look for something bigger. But for a knockabout rifle, it's tough as old boots and it won't break the bank, check it out. So here we are, it's your safety there, nice and easy. Bolt operation is very good. No need to introduce the Blaser R8 straight pull rifle, however, they've opted for a rimfire conversion. They made one some years ago, which is a little bit different. This one is super. It just drops on, replace the barrel, replace the bolt, replace the magazine, and you can turn your 308 into a little 20 inch 7th HMR 2.2 or 2.2 Magnum. Not the cheapest, but then they blaze and never are, but it's a good option if you're looking for a one gun solution for many needs. Here we see the two bolt systems. The lower one is the 2.2, can tell by the twin external extractors and that is the R814243 it's very sweet so a nice firm but not too aggressive pull have produced the NXT straight pull it's another fixed barrel design and it's a sweet gun. Comes a laminate stock, only in two calibers, 308, 30 odd six, and a short 20 inch barrel. Comes with Picatinny bases and their own rather unusual decocking system that consists of a swinging bolt lever that locks and uncocks, or cocks and locks. Shot it, really nice rifle, comes in iron sights, which you can take off, and well worth a look. Safety is, um, seems a little bit odd at first, but in. All we do is just push it forward. In this condition, the bolt is locked, round chambered, but it's not cocked. So when you do that, you push it forward. Okay, like so. Chiapa of Italy have a good rep for lever action rifles. And then they're offering a gun for the Wildlands, a little 16 inch 357 Magnum or 44 Magnum gun with a 5 plus 1 magazine. It's based, say, on the 92 action. And it's more for the guy who's shooting gallery type rifle or club shooting. But it's compact, light, and handy, and potentially very accurate. The only thing about it is, fitting a scope is a bit of an issue because it's a top ejecting gun. However, well worth a look if you want a quality lever gun. We have a Picatinny rail. And at the back is a Skinner's Ghost Ring Sight 
on a gun like this you can't put a, a scope over the action because the rifle as you'll see when we shoot it ejects straight up and back 